What is up, YouTube? Came in here. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. I know I am. And welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. This will be episode six of our Let's Play series. And in today's episode, we're going to go on a little bit of a trip. Um, that's right. I finally have the foundations that I needed to start building our castle. Um, I've already scouted out the location. Sorry about the sun being right there. Sometimes that bloom quality just does not work. Let me check that real quick make sure everything is turned off okay so in today's episode like I said we're gonna go take a little trip um, over to the new castle location uh, and finally going to reveal that uh, hopefully maybe if things would work there we go excellent all right so let's go ahead and get on Terry the pterodon right here um, we have ourselves a new pterodon by the way oh hello the pterodon stuck in the ceiling. How's it going? Just just want to play some peekaboo or what? He's got a nice zebra pattern on him too. It's cool. Anyways, um, we've got a nice high level pterodon right here. Um, 185. We I started to tame him, uh, with the help of both. Um, let's see here. It was, nope, that's not the right one. Come on, get over here. It was BK and Core that helped me out. Um. So what happened is basically I was running around uh, looking or checking out beacons and stuff and I had a low level pterodon uh, tamed out at like level 12 or something like that. Very, very, very crappy pterodon. So his stamina was absolutely horrid. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and climb on up here and get going while I talk to you about what happened. So um, I was flying around, flying along and I was almost home. And all of a sudden his stamina ran out and I go plummeting to my death because I was super high up and I was being a noob and not paying attention, right? So, anyways, um, I, there was a carnal right below. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to get my stuff easily. So I asked for some help in the chat and BK was like, yeah, sure, I'll come help you out. Uh, give me just a sec. He brought over his quets, uh, took out the carno for me and I was able to get my my body and he picked me up and was carrying me home. It wasn't too terribly far of a fly, but it, uh, the carno had killed my pterodon while I was uh, on my way back to get my stuff. So um, I wasn't able to fly myself. So that's the reason he was carrying me back. But anyways, uh, he picked me up and all of a sudden, about halfway home, um, he DC'd. And of course, whenever you DC, whatever you're carrying gets dropped, and I died again, and I had some really, really nice loot on me. I'm talking Mastercraft uh, Chitin Plate, as, long, as well as a Mastercraft uh, Blueprint for Chitin Legs, and then um, a Ramshackle sh Pump Shotgun, and a whole bunch of other stuff, and a whole bunch of Apprentice stuff. I think it was Apprentice um, Pike, Apprentice... I want to say axe and a couple of other things. It's some really nice gear, uh, especially early game like that, like we are. So, anyways, um, we looked and looked and looked. It, it was in a deep forest like this one right here. Uh, it wasn't this one right here, but it it was similar to that one right there, and we just could not find it. I mean, we spent a good hour. Um, the uh, despawn rate on it was two hours. So we had two hours to look for my body, and we spent a good 30, 45 minutes looking for it. And we just could not find it anywhere that we went. So we were just like, uh, he's just like, eh, screw it, I'll just give you new stuff. I was like, no, man, you, you ain't got to do that. But he did anyways. Um, and let's check out what he gave me. So first of all, he gave me all of this flat gear, which is amazing good stuff. I love it. Uh, also give me gave me an ascended pickaxe uh, along with a journeyman battle hatchet um, a journeyman pike uh, these two I made and then this I made so that's that's everything that he hooked me up with along with some chitin gear as well um, that's back at base uh, wearing the flak because flak is better uh, there was a t-rex over here I just seen him that's why I haven't landed yet anyways um and then they also, uh, I was telling them, it sucks that I lost my another bird. He's like, oh, we'll, we'll help you get a new one. And I was like, eh, it's not really that big of a deal. 
but they they were insistent. So um, right outside of my base was this guy, uh, 125. And he's like, hey, there's a 125 sitting right there. Let's tame it. I'm like, okay, let me let me make some arrows and stuff real quick. He's like, all right, and we tamed it. So then that's how we got this guy. Hopefully he won't die quite so easily. Uh, unlike our other two, because our other two were really low level, so I don't think we have to worry about this guy as much. He, he's got some good stuff on him. Really good stats. Uh, let's check them out real quick. Uh, so, 1218 health, um, 1110 stamina, uh, food, water, nobody cares about, weight 281. I have been pumping just a little bit of weight and a little bit of movement speed, um, so he didn't tame out at this. And then I did one melee damage. So he's got uh, 281 weight, uh, 303 melee, and 150 movement speed now. So he, he's a pretty decent little guy. Not, no lie. Ah, there's T-Rex. Let's see what level he is. Uh, do I have my spyglass on me? I do. Okay. This thing is kind of a bit of a battle dawn, too. Oh, no. Not going to work like that. Let's get up here. There we go. Okay. We're back under cover of darkness right now. Level 20. I'm going to try it. Let's see if we can take him out. First, let's completely get all of our stamina up real quick. But this is this is where we are building the castle at. Um, right outside the volcano. Nice little flat area right here. Um, it's going to be pretty nice, I think. It, it's an awesome area. The only bad thing about it is we have dying or we have uh, dragons, small dragons installed, and they really love to spawn right in here. Uh, they love to spawn right there in those woods. So we'll we'll see how how it goes. Uh, and sneak attack! Ha 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 ha! Let's see if we can get this guy down. Sneak attack! Oh, I love it. So, so easy. Super easy mode with flyers. Like, beyond easy mode with flyers. Man, they changed up the music, I think. Nice. Got him. Yes. That is awesome. Hell yeah. Wonder what level we can take out. But anyways, let's harvest that up. All right. Uh, I'm gonna wait for daytime uh, to come through, real quick, and then we'll be back and uh, let you see what's up with the new base location. Uh, hopefully, y'all like it. All right. Uh, BRBs. Welcome back, peeps. And the sun is starting to come up, and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So let's go ahead and get started back on building. Um, I was just out and about grabbing drops, and let me show you what I got. I got another Ascended Pick. Awesome. Uh, journeyman uh, Metal Scythe. So not too bad. Got another Spyglass, another Crossbow, a War Map, and Parachute, a couple of arrows. So... Nothing too spectacular, but some really nice stuff. Um, except for that Ascended Pickaxe. That, that is a damn good find right there. Let me tell you. Holy crap. So, let me just do a little bit of... There we go. Organization here. Let's go jump off him. Uh, as you can see, I've already got a, a, a small base set up down over here. And I've already started. Um, the only reason I did this little bit right here is because I was just measuring, uh, making sure that I had the size that I wanted it to be. So, um, And this castle stuff, it is huge. That is one foundation right here. This is one foundation. It is just massive. And then these are kind of like fences, except um, not. Uh, they're, what are they called? Uh, wall foundations. So they're, they're just like uh, fence foundations, um, so stone, wood, anything like that. But then they're pretty big. I mean, they, they are awesome. 
once we get this castle built, you, you'll just be like, wow, this thing is amazing. And then hopefully you'll be asking your servers uh, to install it as well. So let's go ahead and get this started real quick. Uh, this one right here. Let's go you here. Yeah, yeah. You here. Oh, come on. There we go. Excellent. I'm going to do a three by three of these foundations, I think. I think we've already talked about that, but yeah. I'm going to do a three by three of these foundations here. Then I'm going to put a couple more wall foundations going out this way and then all the way down uh, as far as it can go so that the cliffs are basically our will be our fence. Uh, we don't have to worry about dinos on one side. And then let's see how far that goes off. That doesn't actually go all the way. Hmm. I was hoping it would. Maybe do one more foundation over? Question mark. Maybe. We'll see. We will see. So let me go ahead. See how this how that looks. How far does it hang off? Oh no, that would look horror bad. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So we'll just go with this for the moment. There we go. So that's that's going to be basically our house right there. Uh, except, imagine two more foundations right there and right there. Um, I need to get rid of this guy. And then put this guy right there instead. Let's get up there so that we can actually see how it's placed. Um, this guy is made for the rounded walls. So it looks a lot better. Um, let's go ahead and E that over, maybe. Maybe, come on. You know you want to. Please, pretty please. Um, maybe like this. Yeah, that's what I want. Right there. Just like so. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That is exactly what I was wanting. Awesome sauce. And then we're going to move these foundations over uh, to go out this way instead. Let me see here. Dude, did I bring any of those with me? No, I did not. That's fine. We can go make one up here real quick. Bear with me just a moment while I run on up here. Go ahead and tee all this stuff in here. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I just teed my crossbow in there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Right. I'll go ahead and throw that in here. We don't need it on us at the moment. Uh, let me see here. Go ahead and throw that in there. Don't need that. Don't need that. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's go ahead and see what about making a couple of fence foundations or uh, wall foundations. Where are they? What are we missing? Wood. Missing a lot of wood. So let's go ahead and go grab some wood real quick. Got to be a little bit on the careful side over here. Uh, not too terribly much, but a tiny bit. Uh, as you've seen, T-Rexes, Carnos, all kinds of... This is a very bad neighborhood, let's put it that way. Things just do spawn a lot of them. Ooh, got another level up. All right. Awesome. So, oh, uh, someone was telling me that bloom quality works better at 0.5 because it still gives a little bit of shine to things and it makes it just look really nice. So I'm going to try it for a while, see if I like it. And then also I'm going to do light shafts one more time because I think I changed some stuff. But there we go. And let's go on up here. Grab some of this and that and the other. Oh, now I'm overweight. I'm too fat. Yeah, that's going to look good right there. It's going to look damn good right there. I like it. All right, let's see here. Is there anything that I can drop? No, of course not. Oh, wait. 
I can do this, however. I want to get my weight up to about 450, I think. Would be a good... Oh, crap. Parasaur running. What are you running from? I don't see anything coming. Just random parasaur running. Okay, then. Man, that scared me there for a second. That is under attack. Come on. Very, very slow while encumbered. Have some foods to eat. Then once we get our castle built, then we can start bringing our other dinos over. Uh, so that they'll be nice and protected. And then we can also start building a mountain forge. Uh, somewhere up there. I'm not real sure where as of yet. Um, but I do have a couple of ideas that might be awesome. Uh, go ahead and tee all of this in here. That in there. That there. Then craft up all three of those. While that's crafting, I'm going to go ahead and demolish these. Because we don't need these here right now anymore. They were just placeholders. Just to, just to make sure that I had all the, the right distance on everything. Man. We're going to need four of those all together I think as well. Go ahead and tee all of this in here. Make up another one of those. Grab the ones that we just made. Awesome. Put it there. Then there. Okay. Now then, let's see if we can't get this lined up just right. Demolish that real quick. Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. Okay, so how I like to do this in order to make sure that I get things straight is I like to come to an edge that I know is straight and then I'll line up the top of my camera uh, to where I can just barely see the edge and then just press K. Then not for that. And then we can just run on backwards. Let's go this way. We're going to want it right about here. Maybe over just a little bit more. Just make sure that's good and lined up. Uh, a little bit more. Right there. Excellent. Perfect. So, and then line this up with... Oh, no. Not that way. That way. There we go. And then line that up. Um, come on, you can do it. Um, there we go. What I'm trying to do is, you see that very top of that corner? I'm trying to line it up to where it hits just right on that so that the walls will match up perfectly. That should be good. Awesome. Nailed it. Okay. Uh, if you're... The, the castles are not buggy per se, but they are all at the same time. Um, and you'll get trapped inside of them from time to time. If that happens, just jump and you'll get... Uh, it'll throw you right back out. It's not that big of a deal. Alright. Three. And then one more. Uno mas. And four, and... Ah, oh, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid. Oh, well. It'll work. I'll make it work. It'll be fine. Just fine. Awesome. Is that a scorpion over there? What is that? What? What the crap? What is that? Oh, it's a dimorph. Okay. Don't know what killed it, but sure. 
I'm working on not harvested spotty. I've noticed this that with some things you have to use. Uh, I might be laggy. That might be why. Oh well, we'll just head right on back over here. And it already feels safer with these big old walls here. Ooh, do it. We need one of these guys. Let's see what level he is. Ah, 75. There was a 150 over here uh, not too long ago. I wish I could find them again. They're pretty much indestructible, but um, the main reason why I want one is for stone gathering. They would be amazing for that, but I just can't seem to find one. Oh, there's a Spino over there. There's usually a Spino on either side, and T-Rexes, and all kinds of stuff. It's a pretty dangerous area over here, but I like it. It's a nice spot to build. Really flat. Well, not so much flat, but you know what I mean. Really good, just good spot to build. Carno over there. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. This will be good. Good times, good times. So, um, it's about the wrapping up point now. So, what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm just going to gather up all the resources that we need to finish uh, the foundations at least. Um, I'm not going to be able to grab everything that we need to fully build out the, to fully build it out, uh, because that's just going to take obscene amounts of stone. But at least the foundations laid out so that, oh, excuse me, hiccups, so that y'all can see what, uh, what I'm envisioning for. Um, basically, I'm going to take two more of those foundations right there. Uh, the wall foundations go out this way. And then uh, once they are out this way, then I'm going to go all the way down till it meets the waters or the cliff edge right about here. So this spot will be for all of our smaller dinos right in here. And then the other side will be for our larger dinos uh, over there. Man, I thought that was a saber tooth there for a second. Wanted to give me a heart attack. But anyways, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and end here. I uh, hope everyone has an excellent day. Hope that you enjoy. If you did, please leave a thumbs up or a like. Uh, and if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll catch you all later.